Good morning, folks. Terrific visuals going with an article explaining some finer details of tsunamis and which parts of the world just have unlucky suboceanic geography. Another interesting and thought-provoking article here about bacteria previously unknown to mankind found in Antarctica. West Java, Indonesia, volcano erupted and to protect tourists, a perimeter was established. A couple noteworthy quakes, first one for the location south of Australia, then in Vanuatu because it hit six on two different readers. That same area was focused earlier in the week and it finally spawned the storm we expected. Luckily it is going to miss Australia, but unfortunately that huge rain tail swinging east then south has not yet found its way to drought stricken New Zealand. Other top weather story is a one-two punch starting with storm Saturn. Dumping moisture, surging sea levels, going to make its way up the east coast past Nova Scotia. Say hi to Europe for us. But the next one, Triton already dropping precipitation on the western coastlines and set to drive counterclockwise across the states. Meanwhile, that red high pressure cell to the right forces out and clockwise, meaning their convergence in the middle has both forcing northward. We see this on the wind map. From Texas to Canada will start heating up as the locations are subject to that forcing. This watch zone should extend further west, encompassing the panhandles and more of eastern Colorado. Don't sleep on this one, even though I know you don't really expect tornadoes as much this time of year as you do in the Gulf states, per se. If you'd like to check out other months, I've linked this for you below as well. Solar quiet. Yesterday's highlight was a C1. You can double peak any time now, dude. The solar wind is soft as well, dropping under 300 kilometers per second as further indication of the weakening solar fields. But hey, we'll check the sunspots anyway. South is decaying a bit, but below the northern umbra that crested this week, a new spot was born just a few hours ago. We'll check on her throughout the day. No eruptive earth-facing features, but we do have some more filaments entering what appears to be their launch pad on the southeastern limb. Umbral fields look big to you? They do to me. Now they are like a lung, they expand and contract, but this is especially puffed for how weak it is allegedly. Still can't see the left edge of the green coronal opening, still not geo-effective. The reason you can just barely see the dark coronal hole here is because of what obscures its view in front of it. Charged particles and plasma, they're caught and guided along the umbral field lines here, read by the satellite, and registers brighter color. Remember that trans-equatorial coronal openings are the most important for quakes. We won't be getting this one for another few days, and down here leaving the party is what I mistakenly thought was the closest equatorial region of it five days ago. We'll see the ones that are actually trans-equatorial about the times the planets begin dancing again. As the coronal holes come to face Earth, the moon is going to conjoin about half the solar system in the span of 48 hours, including comet Panstars, a day after its perihelion. You will remember, we split this watch into two. Didn't feel right having one uptick count for the whole watch, but also there was a bona fide break in the Earth-facing corona holes, as I just mentioned, which I originally misjudged, and the planetary positions took some days off as well. Let's go ahead and assume that there will be no quakes for part two of this watch period and it fails. If we assume we get through the 11th with no major quakes, here is how 2013 will look so far. 70 days. About one-third had major watch, two-thirds with minor or no watch. 16 major quakes so far this year, but 80% of them have come during the major watch periods. I think this is much easier to understand than my chart from last year, yeah? We'll keep it going. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.